Hey, this is Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax Advisors, and today I want to talk about some lessons that we've learned from the 2007 financial crisis that are still applicable today. Okay, so one of the first lessons that we learned is that you probably shouldn't buy a home that's more than you can realistically afford. So what is, you know, how much can you really afford? So experts say that you shouldn't spend more than 30% of your gross salary on a home. So that means if you make $100,000 a year, $30,000 a year should go to your mortgage, not more than that if you're being conservative, which means your payment all in, including HOAs, taxes, and insurance shouldn't be more than $2,500 a month. So just to be conservative, I, I would suggest you buy slightly less home than you can afford to, to make sure that, God forbid, anything happened, you're in a good financial position. No one wants to be house poor. Uh, the next thing that, uh, that I would suggest is to have six months worth of reserves in your savings account after you buy a home. So again, to be conservative, this doesn't have to be for everyone, but as a conservative rule of thumb, you should try to have six months worth of mortgage payments in your savings account after you buy a home. Uh, so, you know, if you lose your job somewhere down the line, if there's a recession that hits, the economy slows down, something like that, you want to make sure that you have enough money to keep making your mortgage payments until you find the new opportunity, the new job, or, you know, let's say the AC breaks, there's minor repairs here and there. You don't want to spend every dime you have and then dig into your savings just to buy a home. The next thing that I would suggest uh, is you know, to remember that while home prices historically go up over time, you shouldn't always bet that you, know, you can sell the home next year for a lot more money than what you bought it for. Again, historically home prices go up over time, but buying a home is a long-term investment. They say the best time to buy a home was 20 years ago, and that's because if you look at any home, basically, the price of it 20 years ago, it's most likely going to be much less than what that same home would sell for today. So my suggestion would be to buy a home if you're planning on being there for five years or longer, that probably makes sense financially, but don't just bank on, you know, I, I'll be able to sell this home no problem next year and make a huge profit. That's not the best way to uh, to go about it. It's a little bit more risky. So buying a home is definitely a better investment than renting, but you should want to make sure that you're going to stay there for uh, a little bit longer than a year. So those are my tips uh, for lessons that we've learned from the 2007 financial crisis. If you have any other questions or if there's anything that you think you uh, we should be talking about in these videos, feel free to give us a call. Let us know. We'd love to answer any of your questions. Thanks.